So a major talk in the community recently is the whole Yomiya debate. You know, are, are you pulling on Yomiya banner? Uh, are you not? She's kind of bad, bro. Don't pull on her banner. Save her ball because Mahoya teased her. She's probably coming on the next update. You know, save her, bro. You know. Uh, and I, I want to talk about why I think I'm pulling on Yomiya banner. You know, what I think I want to do it at least because it's an interesting debate right now. And I want to throw my hat into the ring like I do with every debate at this point. Talk about why I'm pulling on the banner and why, you know, I mean, I'm not, actually, no, that's not really a case of why you might want to, it's a case of only why I might want to, because my situation is, uh, it, it, it's just well problems, you know, but, yeah, let's, let's, let's just talk about it right now, because we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about the, uh, the situation that I have with my Genshin in the camera right now, so, currently, on the date I'm recording this, which is the 3rd of August, you want me is coming out on the 10th of August, there are 7 days left before she comes out, and I have 14,000 Primo Gems and 5 Intertwine Fates. If we look at my history for my account, uh, I am 5 into Pity, Ayaka just came home, 7 pulls after I got Kazuha, so... I'm in a spot where, with the amount of Primo Gems I have, I have enough to buy 87 pulls. Now, with 87 pulls, that's definitely enough to get me 1 guaranteed 5 star, but it's a case of winning the 50-50 or not, so... When, when your mirror banner comes out, I'll be able to pull on it, and if I win the 50-50, great, I'll get your mirror. You know, because I actually really like her character design, I think she's quite happy and fun, and I want to try out her gameplay, you know. I'm probably going to try out her test run beforehand, but I'm probably going to end up pulling 20 times at least to see if I get Sayu, because another important factor to mention in is the fact that Sayu is going to be on the banner. So, so Sayu's a new 4-star Animo Claymore healer character, and... I like collecting characters. I own most characters in the game at this point, and I don't know what the matter is right now, but that's another fact to mention that I own all but five characters. I don't own a Eula, a massive damage dealer. I don't own Zhao, the big damage dealer. I don't own Albedo, the uh, amazing Geo support. Nor do I own Cleave, because I didn't really want to pull on Havana, and I don't own Deluca, and Deluca is just vibing now while I got Kachink C1. So, Sai will be another character to try out and have fun with. And, you know, I'm going to be rolling for Sayu as well, because I want to try out Sayu. But, Yomiya has an interesting playstyle that... It's not really been seen much on bow characters recently, because a lot of bow characters are mainly focused on the charge shot, or in Child's case, he's a different kind of character which can switch between melee and bow usage. Now, the type of gameplay I'm talking about is the spam attack. Now, when version 1.0 for Genshin came out, there was a build called Machine Gun Fischl, which, I mean, I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard of Machine Gun Fischl, it was very, very big when the game came out, but other people were like, nah, bro, this this uses, and then Fischl became kind of like a main support kind of thing, but the way it works is you just sort of just spam, and that's kind of part of your Mia's gameplay. If you use her E ability, it converts her normal attacks into pyro, and they do extra damage, so I, like to, I feel like this would be fun for single target enemies, which... I guess we went to this whole meta debate as well because a lot of people tried out Yomiya and said, oh, she's not actually that strong because of her, like, only, like, single target, not AoE, because Mahoyo changed the Spyro of the Beast to cater towards AoE damage, and it's more of a DPS check, apparently, this time around, so... A lot of people... I've read a lot of comments from people saying, oh, I'm only going to be pulling for the meta. Yomiya's not the meta, so I'm not pulling for her. I don't, I don't really care about meta, really. I mean, I don't even know what the meta is. I care more about waifus over meta at this point. Like, Yomiya looks really cool, I'm going to pull her for her. And also, she has a weird charge attack as well, which, like, gains power. And also, you could technically use her as a support, because when you use her burst, it applies marks to enemies, and those marks, when hit, do extra pyro damage, so you could probably use it as, like, a reaction thing. But, I don't know, that's just me thinking of ideas of how I could use Yomiya right now. If I get her. I want to win 50-50 first, I'm not going to lie to myself, but... But with the way Genshin's like going, like I feel like a lot of people are just focusing a lot on the Mesa at this point. And uh, I mean, you don't really need Mesa. It's it's not really a hard game. I mean, yeah, sure, in the Zoom has actually been pretty difficult to some people. But I know I, I just enjoy collecting characters I want to collect, and I'm gonna try and get Yomiya because hey, she looks cool. That's that's probably like the worst reasoning of, of anyone's entire life. So I'm very sorry if this if that reasoning upset you, but. There's also another reason why I know people might not pull on the banner as much. It's because of the positioning of the banner. So, when Genshin came out, there was a few characters, right? So, we had version 1.0. We had Venti as the first character, and Archon. Many people pulled on him because he's an Archon, you know. And we had Klee, you know, the first, you know, the first main big character, you know, the first 
new character coming out of the game, and a lot of people pulled on that. And then uh, nobody had any premiums for Tartalia, but a lot of people didn't pull on him because of the fact that Zong Lee was around the corner. Now, Zong Lee is also an Archon. People hyped him up a lot. His trailer hyped him up a lot. People pulled for Zong Lee, saw that he, you know, tried him out. P some people were, you know, claimed that Geo wasn't actually that strong, so so people, a lot of people will, you know, boycott the Zong Lee, which then, of course, get a buff later on. But, this was my main point, is that he was an Archon, and then after that was Albedo, another Geo 5 star. Now, people didn't pull on Albedo because nobody had any primos after Zong Lee, because anyone who wanted another Geo character oh, already spent all one. their primos. Or people who wanted another character were saving for Ganyu because she's the first big waifu of the game. Now, if you put two and two together, this is a very similar situation to what your, your Mia's in. Because Mahoyo is teased, obviously, uh, the, uh, the the water lady, I forgot her name, I forget every time, Kujo Sara, and the Raiden Shogun. Now, if you think about it right, Mahoya might release the Raiden Shogun as the first banner of 2.1 update. We don't know what the order of the banner is yet, but like I'm making a guess because a lot of people would be telling me, oh, apparently it's the first banner. So uh, I mean, sure, we'll go off, we'll go off that assumption. But the only mere banners between Ayaka, a character that people have been waiting since the beta for Genshin Impact, and whatever 2.1's holding for us. Now a lot of people are saying, okay, so, so. So a lot of people are saying things like, okay, so why aren't you saving for the Raiden Shogun? Well, I am. And the thing is, is that if I lose 50-50, well great, because I can, I can get the Raiden Shogun. Because I did maths, right? And I did Primo Gem calculations based on assumptions from previous updates up to this point. And I figured out how many Primos you can get between now and September 22nd, which is the end of the first banner in the Inazuma update. Well, not the Inazuma update, the... Uh, uh, so the idea calculations when you out of premium gems you can get between now and the end of the first banner in the 2.1 update for Genshin Impact and assuming that you can buy the Welcome Moon and also assuming that you can get the Battle Pass for the game, you'd be able to get about 100 wishes between now and the end of the first banner. Now to take into account the fact you do every daily commission, you can also do the Spiral Abyss and you play with every event that comes out. So you'd be able to get enough primos to get a lot of wishes. Which means if I fell 50-50, I mean, I can get the Raiden Shogun anyways. So yeah, I mean, let me down down below. Like, like, are you guys saving for Bow? Are you guys saving for Koyuki? Wait, is that, is that, wait, is that a name? Wait, did I get that right? But yeah, let me know down below. Are you guys, like, excited? You know, are you guys going to be pulling on what banner? Let me know what, down below what you guys think. But that's why I'm going to be pulling, well, at least 20 plus times on the Yomiya banner and seeing what happens. But yeah, I hope you're having a great day wherever you are. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you guys in another video really, really soon. Have a lovely day, everyone.